This is the future of information, and here we are at Stanford University, which many people regard as one of the centers of that future. But I'm here to talk about another aspect, and that's Stanford University as a link to the past. When it comes to research and scholarship, the future of information is going to have many echoes from that past. And one of the most prominent aspects is right here in the architecture of this university. This is a Franciscan mission. It's related to the Franciscan order, a, a monastic order from, that dates back to the medieval period. And in the medieval period, learning was under siege. Barbaric wars were underway and the monasteries protected that learning. In terms of that protection, uh, the university resembles and echoes that past in ways that I want to consider in terms of three properties. These properties are elements that will weigh on the future of information. They are properties that will have an influence and that we need to consider in evaluating and assessing the future of research and scholarship. The monasteries, which this university bears a strong resemblance to, had arcades like this, but they were walled from the world, separated communities, gated communities, in fact. Uh, and within, people socialized, they prayed, they worked, and they maintained a spirit of learning, uh, a sense that learning was important and needed to be protected. And the elements that went into that preservation, that sense of protection, are elements that we need to consider today when we think about the future of information. Let me consider the first of these three properties. These are properties that connect the monastic tradition of the medieval era with the university today and with the future of information. The first of these is the gift. Leland Stanford donated his farm and his fortune to create this university in memory of his son and every abbey and monastery of the Middle Ages was created with a similar kind of gift of land. And that gift made it possible for the monks and the nuns to gather and worship, build a monastery, engage in acts of learning, create books, write commentaries, because they had all of that economic aspect in place. That's been true of this university that has continued to attract donations, and that has also operated in terms of its research and scholarship with federal funding. And this aspect of public support is a critical element in terms of learning, and it will be one going into the future. A good example of how that's spreading and growing is Wikipedia. It is completely a matter of donation of people's time and ideas to the creation of knowledge and the sharing of it. YouTube's another example with so many lessons on so many different things. So this aspect of the gift is an element that we need to think about and look forward to in terms of the future of information. This leads me to a second, to the second property, and that's the communal aspect of learning. The monasteries, as they were created by gifts, were not elements or not aspects of private property. They were shared. Everyone had a right to everything that belonged here. And that's true of this university. For every member of this institution, they're free to go and visit different aspects of the university, and in particular, the library. The library is a place where all of the intellectual properties of the university are there for everyone to equally access. So these two elements, first the gift and public support for learning, and the second element of the communal nature of those engaged in learning, the element of sharing and making provision for each to have access are critical elements in terms of the future of learning, much as they have been in the past. So the monks and nuns are living in this monastic life, removed from the world, wandering the arcades, working in the scriptorium, having meals together, sharing their books. But an important aspect of that was their autonomy or independence. Because of the gift, they were economically independent, and that autonomy is an important aspect of learning, particularly around research and scholarship. You need to be able to ask difficult questions. You need to be concerned only with the outcomes of your learning. And that independence defined learning in the monastic period. The church was present, of course, 
but the monasteries were somewhat independent, if only because of their remoteness, and the universities have maintained that autonomy of learning as a critical aspect in terms of research and scholarship. So when we think about the future of learning, we need to be equally concerned with its autonomy, with its ability to ask questions that others aren't asking, with its removal from the concerns of trade and commerce, in order to inquire into the meaning of the world and what we can learn from it. So it's here in these historic arcades, the main quad of Stanford University, that we can begin to see how the past connects to the future, how the properties that defined learning in the West a thousand, two thousand years ago are still present and with us today. Each of them continues to play a very important part. The concept of learning being sponsored and supported by the public is going to be no less vital in the future than it has been in the past. In terms of my hopes for the future of information when it comes to research and scholarship, it's to see those properties that originally stood learning in such good stead will continue and that the communal sharing of research and scholarship will be something that goes on on a public basis so that everyone, not just the members of this university, have access to the research and scholarship that we produce at institutions like this. And finally, in terms of the autonomy of learning, my hopes are not just in the sciences, but in the social sciences and humanities, that we continue to take on the most difficult questions around social justice and inequality, around the hopes that all of us have for a better world. The future of information with research and scholarship is a matter of properties that continue into that future in ways that produce better results and learning that will be of value to everyone.